On May 31st of 1999, just five months after Smash 64 was released, Masahiro Sakurai posted the results of a poll on Nintendo's official website asking readers for their suggestions on potential characters for Smash 2. It was a small poll, nothing like today where you have millions of people hoping for characters from their childhoods to get in, like Crash Bandicoot or Sora, just for another Fire Emblem character to be added. So joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself. Back then, Super Smash Bros. was a tiny series, and only about 4% of the world's population had access to the internet. No, back then, most characters' votes didn't even reach the triple digits. A lot of the characters in this poll were actually added to later installments, which is pretty cool. Wario, Ganondorf, Mewtwo, Meta Knight, Diddy Kong, and Sonic, just to name a few. Check this out. Someone from Fire Emblem at 12th place with 18 votes. Guess Sakurai really delivered on that one. Even 20 years ago, Banjo and Kazooie were one of the most requested characters. Baby Mario? Who the hell wanted to play as Baby Mario? But who got the most votes? Who won the poll? Well, it was the only character to receive more than 100 votes, and he won by a landslide, with over twice as many votes as Princess Peach, who finished in second place. It was none other than King Koopa himself, Bowser, with a whopping 169 votes. And Sakurai listened, because two years later, Bowser saw his debut in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now fast forward to the present day. Smash 2 has been out for almost two decades. Armada releases its final tier list, calling Bowser the absolute worst character in the game, a sentiment shared by Rishi, who places him in the can't tier. And at the very bottom of a community voted tier list made in 2019 sits King Koopa himself, Bowser. This character sucks ass. To start things off, Bowser's just… slow. Take Jump Squat, for instance, the amount of frames before you leave the ground when you input a jump. Of the 26 playable characters in Melee, 7 have a 3 frame jump squat, 8 have a 4 frame jump squat, 7 have 5 frames, 3 have 6 frames, and 1. One character has 8 frames of jump squat. Bowser. Yeah, they really skipped 7 to make Bowser even worse. This slow startup on jumping in addition to his laggy aerials make it incredibly difficult for Bowser to approach. Instead, Bowser relies heavily on intercepting bad approaches with his fair, not unlike Ganondorf, and counter hits out of shield with one of his only good moves, grounded up B. But even this move, while a solid kill move on floatier characters and fast due to only having a 5 frame startup, leaves Bowser vulnerable if it misses, and is hard to combo off of due to its duration. Speaking of which, comboing with Bowser is a nightmare. In combination with his jump squat, most of his aerials are either too slow or too strong to string together with other moves, and his low speed in the air prevents him from chasing opponents that are above him for follow-ups. It's rare to see Bowser players use their smash attacks. Forward and up smash, while extremely strong, are pitifully slow on startup and laggy when they end, leaving Bowser wide open to getting hit. Down Smash is a little better in that it's actually decently fast, but like his other two Smash attacks, is massively punishable if it misses. Bowser's size is a huge problem. He's easily walled out and hit out of the air, and in combination with his falling speed, his massive model makes him combo food for most of the cast. But Bowser's big, so at least he'll have some reach. Oh, the jab, that was... Right? This is Bowser's grab. That little pink thing, that's his grab range. It's pathetic, they didn't even make it go to the tips of his fingers, and his running grab is even worse. What, does he grab with his biceps? Why the hell is the hitbox not even close to the end of his arms? Here's Marth's grab for comparison. Bowser's recovery is awful. His up special is predictable, and Bowser gains very little height when he uses it, meaning if you're under the stage, it's very unlikely you'll make it back. This gives Bowser two options when recovering, recover high and get hit, 
or recover to ledge and pray your opponent messes up. That's it. So is there anything good about Bowser? Well, like I said before, his up B out of shield is a solid get off me move, but he can also use it to quickly grab ledge, which is useful for edge guarding and getting away from your opponent for a bit. Bowser's up tilt can actually lead into other moves and his forward aerial is strong and fast. Yeah. Ooh, nice there. Cover yeah, that. Yeah, and it's a pretty sad move to be called good, but his attack from ledge is one of the best in the game. With a cast of 26 characters, at least half of them can and have made top 8 at majors, multiple times in fact. And even more beyond those 13 can make massive upsets over great players. But some of them, like Bowser, might just be destined to obscurity forever, drowning in pools at big tournaments, but perfectly capable of winning locals in the right hands. Even if your character sucks ass, don't let that stop you from having fun. Yeah. So, DJ Nintendo takes Grand Finals with Bowser.